Emma did not catch any breaks with this draw. She shares the top half of her section with two fellow Grand Slam winners. Let's take a look at her first round. And right off the hop in the first round, Emma faces fellow US Open Grand Slam champion Sloane Stevens. It'll be interesting to see if she can get past this first round. This is arguably Stevens' weakest slam, so let's see what Emma can do. Now, looking at the head to head matchup, we can see these two have not faced one another before, but both women are capable of winning big matches, even though they come in not playing their particularly best tennis. We all know what Emma did last summer, and of course, Sloane had some huge wins last year. She booked victories over Coco Goff, Petra Kvitova, Karolina Pliskova. Let's take a look and see who's going to have the surface edge. Now, taking a look to see who the hard courts are going to favor, we can see Sloan had a rough year last year, clocking in with a 37% win rate on hard courts. Over the course of her career, that number improves drastically to 56%. And don't forget, she did win the US Open on hard courts. So, now moving on to Raducanu, of course, she had the spectacular season last year with the 77% win rate. A lot of those wins coming at the US Open. And all time, I'd expect that number to be the same since she hasn't been on tour that long. That's 79%. So, perhaps an advantage for Emma, but it's really hard to say with that small sampling size. It is now time to make the match pick, and it's no secret that both these women are not playing their best tennis at the moment. Emma's coming off that tough opening season loss to Elena Rybakina, where she kind of got blown off the court. Sloan got married recently, so I imagine she's been spending a lot of time getting ready for that, making preparations. So I believe Emma's focus has actually been more on her game recently, and for that reason, I think she's better prepared to win. I'm picking Raducanu in two. Let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you in the next video.